Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading for mid-June 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but like always, you can check out one of your other signs, or you can book a personal reading. Also, because it is general, the roles can be reversed. All right, let's see, what is going on with Scorpio? Second half of June in love. All right, we have received. Okay, so, wow, maybe you received something, but the way that this is coming through to me is that you may have been receiving signs or messages um, from the universe, from your higher self, pointing you in a particular direction for this connection. Let's see. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And as I've been saying in all of these videos this time around, if you'd like to donate to an animal rescue, usually they um, they focus on dogs, but they really helped me with the stray cats that needed emergency medical attention. And yeah, I'm very grateful. So if you would like to donate to them, I am including the link in the description box as well as the link to the Etsy shop for this doll that's on my desk and you can find a lot more items and dolls like this one on there. All right, so Scorpio, Scorpio. So for you, we have the Star, the Ace of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so there's a connection here that you are really um, drawn towards, that you're wishing for, that you would really want. You want this to really take off. Um, there's a lot of passion here and you're really just hoping for this to become more stable. So I feel like it might be something that has already begun and it's, it's maybe feeling nice. Um, or if it's not, maybe you want to get back together with this person. But whatever the case is, I feel like there is this sense of wanting to really take this off the ground, right? And get it moving towards a commitment. So let's see for them, we have the Nine of Swords. Actually, I feel like for, <laughs> for the other person, this Nine of Swords just keeps showing up um, in a lot of the Zodiacs. The Eight of Wands and, all right, cards are sticking together. And the Three of Cups. Okay, so something is stressing this person out. Something is keeping them possibly even stuck in their headspace, maybe overthinking something when it comes to really moving forward towards having a reconciliation or towards just allowing themselves to just enjoy this and see where it goes. I feel like there's something that they're overthinking. Let's see what is coming up for you. We have the Knight of Cups. For them, we have the Two of Cups, ooh, okay. And mutually, we have the Empress. And a message for you here is the Page of Pentacles. Someone else had this in this position as well. Can't remember who. I think it was one of the air signs. All right, so. There's definitely love here um, coming up in the future. I do see I do see there being a lot of openness. I feel like it could be that you are opening up emotionally concerning how you feel about this to this person. This person is feeling the love and maybe that will help them to um, just lighten up, to just be able to let things go as they are going rather than having to overthink everything. And especially having the Empress here mutually between the two of you, this is, you know, feeling abundant. This is feeling really good. This is feeling... Um, creative in this connection and just really feeling a sense of we can create together. So let's clarify and see. This is looking pretty positive. So yeah, this received card that we have in the very beginning, it could even be that this person is getting the message um, from you, especially if there is some kind of an openness concerning how you feel. I don't know. We'll see. Let's get into it. Let me clarify this 
star. Okay, the nine of wands, the two of wands, and the queen of cups. Okay, yeah, so... You know, you have a lot of emotions for this person. You're feeling a lot of love for this person. It feels like you there may have been a lot of waiting in the past that felt very, very challenging. So this may have been one of those situations where there was some on and off and just waiting for things to just really get to a place of being stable and consistent. And I feel like that is what was missing here. Let me see, let me just clarify the King of Pentacles. All right, Nine of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Hierophant. Okay, yeah, so again, this is all about commitment, things being um, steady, consistent, having that high level of, of commitment and of a connection here. Okay, you feel the spiritual bond with them, but it almost feels like, you know, you, you feel like the lack of this almost felt like a betrayal. It was very painful and or it has been painful and there is still some anxiety surrounding that because I feel like it still hasn't manifested. It still hasn't worked out that way. And it's like you, again, it feels like it was on and off because with this Five of Swords, it's almost like, you know, it may have seemed like it was moving in that way and then only t for there to be some kind of a betrayal. And when I say betrayal, it doesn't necessarily mean being unfaithful. It could just be, you know, where, where you thought it was moving in a certain direction and then there's a betrayal because then it turns out it's not. And it feels like a betrayal. And to be honest, it feels like, you know, it might be feeling that way right now as well. Even if you are in contact, if, because there's this stress attached to you here. There's this um, anxious energy. So it could be a little bit of overthinking things on your end as well, maybe for some of you. But yeah, I feel like you've really been through a lot here. Let's see for your person, the Nine of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands. What else? The Five of Wands and the Four of Cups. See, here's the thing, this this person is like going against their own self here. There's, it's almost coming through to me as resistance, like kind of like putting up a fight with their own desire for you, okay? Because I do see that they want this. I do see that they would, that they see you as very desirable. They feel the same passion for you that you feel for them. But there's something here in the situation that they're overthinking which is not only just creating conflict in their mind, like the more they overthink things, like the more complicated it gets in their mind, this is actually also causing them to feel very um, unfulfilled, unhappy. Let's see, let me clarify the Eight of Wands. The Knight of Swords and the High Priestess. So this is a lot of action. So it's interesting because on the one hand, I feel like they're just kind of sitting in their, in their stress about this. So, like I said, overthinking things, just overanalyzing it, making it more complicated in their, in their minds than what it really is. I don't know, for some of them, it's almost so also coming across as almost like a fear of a rejection But not exactly that. It's more like, you know, if they make this offer and then in later, later on, right, like down the road, what if you reject them later on? Not at this moment. So that's what I mean about overanalyzing things, just not knowing if they can measure up. Um, 
And so even though they want to move forward, they're holding something back. They're holding back some truths concerning how, how they feel here. They're not being 100% open. It's like they, I feel like with this Knight of Swords, there is a lot that they would want to say, also with the Eight of Wands, but, but they're holding back with that High Priestess. And they know deep down, right? They're feeling it in their intuition. Their intuition is telling them, go, take action. Take, take that action. But it's the stress that, um, and the overthinking, overcomplicating things in their minds that is stopping them. Let's see the Three of Cups. The Seven of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so maybe this person, you know, has this, a fear of a commitment, even though there's also that fear of possibly not being worthy. And that could be why they feel like, you know, what if down the road, you know, like I'm rejected, but at the same time, you know, like, kind of not allowing themselves to have this three of cups, right? Which is like, you know, and just enjoy it. Just go with the flow, enjoy the situation and see where it leads. Because they also have an issue here possibly with, um, their independence, worried about losing their independence also. Again, with this nine of pentacles showing up, it goes back to what I was saying about self-worth, right? With the seven of swords, together with the nine of pentacles, that's showing me that there might be a self-worth issue here, keeping them from being able to just enjoy a situation and see where, where it goes. And not having to worry about, not overthinking the commitment. We do have the Two of Cups, though, for them in the near future. So let's see. Let me clarify the Knight of Cups for you. Okay, many. All right. So we have the Ten of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I I kind of feel like you're going to want to discuss this, that you, you want to open up emotionally and just have an honest emotional conversation. And like I said, I feel like this person is actually going to reciprocate that. Because um, I feel like you want to get things off your chest. It's like you've been holding this in. You've been holding this burden in not, I feel like you haven't really had the chance to fully express it. And so you're moving towards wanting to express that. And the reason why you haven't is because it felt a little bit daunting, maybe a little bit challenging. So let's see the two of cups for them. The Eight of Swords and Justice. Okay, wow. So this is them really um, being open, first of all, to this connection, okay, with the Two of Cups, really feeling that love. And whatever it is that has been that overthinking here at this Eight of Swords, keeping them trapped in their own minds, this is finding some kind of a balance to that, balancing that out, making that right, seeing the situation, you know, from a more objective, perspective rather than from this clutteredness that was going on up here in the present, in the current situation, right? I feel like after having the a conversation here openly, there will be this sense of, yeah, you know, things are okay. Things don't have to be so complicated. One sec, because I dropped some cards. All right, so let me clarify the Empress. Oh, okay, we have the Hermit and the Sun. Okay, so a lot of major arcana down here. All right. Yeah, so this is... 
This is also that self-worth issue being resolved. And I feel like that's what that received is. It's all about receiving that message, receiving those signs, receiving some openness, some honesty. Getting that, that message. And I feel like that's what's happening with this person here. All right, um, really resolving that self-worth issue, at least moving in that direction. But of course, that's going to come from within and from doing, you know, a little bit of digging within. So I feel like this is mostly about your person, but it's also you as well, because this is in the mutual energy here. And that ultimately leads to this sun. To fulfillment and also this is all about again honesty things being out in the open so with the page of Pentacles being the message here I'm seeing this as just not rushing the process pretty much you don't need to rush anything things I feel can fall into place As long as there is that, that willingness on your part also to be open and allowing this person to be open, all right? If, if you want this connection, and for the most part, I feel like you do because I do see the emotions here, all right? Um, if you don't, then maybe this reading is not, is not your reading, all right? And that's okay. But I'm seeing that this, it's okay to take this one step one step at a time and that your person is also you know beginning to open up in that direction of taking some practical steps all right scorpio so if this resonated let's see what the final message for you is all right and we have full moon in gemini the answers you need are coming yeah they're being received you're getting the answers that you need. And I feel like it's all going to come from this honest communication. So Scorpio, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.